Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to, to map a step model to a, a PCB footprint that you have in here. So if we look at the 3D view for now, this, this part has the, the basic kind of 3D view, um, which uses the place bound top as the, as the boundary area. Um, there's a new menu function and or step package mapping. And I basically get a list of all the footprints that are in my design. And I also get a list of all the step models that are available for me to map. And these are ones set up from the step path. So if I needed to create a mapping, I effectively pick the part that I want to look at, I get a 3D view. Now I know that this part is actually an 0402, so I can click on the 0402, I then get the visual differences between the two parts. So this is the this is the actual step model, this is the place bound top or place bound bottom shape that we have. The green is obviously the representation of the board. Now we can overlay the two, um, we can also change um, the transparency of either the symbol, the step or both. And then it's just a matter of kind of, we can hide the board as well. Um, and then it's just a matter of kind of adjusting the views. We've got some, some positions here. So we can change the views to, to look at a front view, a back, a bottom, back right, etc. And we can obviously adjust the position and the rotation in all of the different domains because it depends on how the step file has actually been um, designed. The X, Y, Z way may, may well be different based on what we've got. But if we were to start looking at adjusting the offsets, for example, if we make an offset of one, you can physically see the part jump so we know that with the zero location, so we can actually adjust the height of this component and the X and Y. Once we've done that, we click on save, and then we work, way, work our way through the list. And if I click on this, it's just going to show me the visual parts that we need to look at. So if I wanted to look at something like a, um, let's go and find an SOIC. <coughs> so I want a, a, a 20 way SOIC. So if we just work my way through my list. We've obviously got it overlays. You can see that the rotation is incorrect here. So what I would need to do is, is potentially rotate this. Let's make a rotation in the Z direction of 90 degrees. So I'm starting to kind of get the position of these correct. Maybe I want to look at a front view to see the front. And work your way around with the dimensions to make the mapping that you need. Now, once you save this, if I actually look at um, an 0402, let's just go and find an 0402 part. And do a show element what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get effectively some properties that are now defined to the part so I get the name of the step file and the, the different coordinate locations that they've added here and the library path to where the actual the package symbol is 